Hey guys, it's Miss Weaver, and um, I thought I would do a video today to share with you my post instead of typing it out. Just thought I'd be different. And um, today's post is the one with the ketchup races. We are studying independent and dependent variables in science today. Sorry, I keep watching my puppy making sure he's not going to the bathroom in my house. Um, we're still working on house training. Anyway, we're picking out independent and dependent variables and constants and controls and writing hypotheses and just all that scientific method stuff. This is one of my favorite parts of science to teach just because I can do any lab I want and it goes. So that's great. I have a lot of options there. Um, today my students did a lab called the Ketchup Lab and they absolutely loved it and so I thought I would share it with you. The basic idea is we took their math books because we haven't issued science books yet and we wrapped them in wax paper and then they drew on that wax paper a start and a finish line 15 centimeters apart. We had three brands of ketchup and I squirted just a small little dab of ketchup at their start line. They turned their books horizontal, I'm sorry, vertical at a 90 degree angle and let the ketchup run while they timed how long it took to get from the start to the finish line. Of course, napkins were involved because I did not want ketchup all over my desk and all over my students. And so they did brand A four times, found the average, and then we did brand B and brand C. And I have to tell you, I felt like a waitress in a restaurant that only serves ketchup. I spent the entire 55 minutes just walking in a circle amongst my group squirting ketchup on to their books because every time I would get around once, that first group was ready for their next bit of ketchup to have races. Um, as someone who doesn't eat ketchup and is totally grossed out by ketchup, I was not just the biggest fan of this lab, but the students loved it so much that I'm definitely going to put it in the bank of labs to do again next year. So they did four trials with all three brands of ketchup, and we were just trying to determine which brand would run the fastest. And again, our concentration today was on picking out independent and dependent variable and constants and controls and that sort of thing. Um, just a great, easy lab. I actually got it off of the internet somewhere. I can't remember where, but my guess is probably scienceclass.net. I get a lot of my labs from there. And I basically retyped it to fit my needs and changed it up so that it focused on the things that I really want to drill in with my kids. So I have that typed up. It's in my TPT store for free. I'm not going to charge you for something that I didn't make on my own. Um, check it out. Like I said, my kids absolutely loved it. My room did smell like ketchup for the rest of the day. Um, my kids were asking for french fries and, you know, that sort of thing, just being seventh graders. But Ketchup Races was a big, big hit. So go check it out my TPT store. I think it's one that you and your students will really enjoy. Um, and just thanks for visiting the blog today. I'm just incredibly humbled by the fact that I do anything in my classroom that someone else would find to be a good idea or to want to borrow. And... Um, I just believe learning should be fun. I want to enjoy what I do every day. I want my kids to enjoy what we do every day, but I also want them to learn. And so that's just sort of my philosophy in teaching. And now just because I've been darting my eyes around this whole time, watching this little guy. This is my new puppy. His name is Lincoln. Um, yeah, he's wild. <laughs> But anyway, he, we just got him. He's not house trained, and so you have to watch him like a hawk because I don't want to him to go potty on the rug. Um, I'm really trying to get him to wind down so we can all go to bed. But as you can see, the little guy's wild. So anyway, have a great day. Have a great week. And thanks again for stopping by. See you later.